Windows 10 OneDrive synchronization. How sync or synchronization works in Windows 10 and OneDrive. I open File Explorer in one window. In the second, I will open a OneDrive account. Let's make it on the half screen. Okay, here on my PC, I open OneDrive folder. And here in the OneDrive folder, I create another new folder. Let's leave the name new folder. What will happen? A new folder will appear immediately in my OneDrive account. Let's refresh. And here it is. Let's create a file, text document. And let's put some text in this document. Save this document and open new folder in my OneDrive account. Yes, there is new text document we just created in our Windows 10. Let's open this document. There is a text in this document we just type in our new text document in our Windows 10. Let's change this text in our text document in OneDrive account. Let's type second line. Save the changes. Open new text document in our OneDrive folder in our PC. It will take a few seconds sometimes to update our folders and document, to synchronize our folders and document from OneDrive to our PC or other device, or from device to OneDrive. What's happened when we uh, add third, third line? Hit save, refresh document on our OneDrive account, open it, and there will be changes. So working with OneDrive, we have access to latest version of our document. If you use many devices to work, OneDrive is a great solution. You have access to latest version of this document. By default, every folder is synchronized. So If we create another folder, new folder, name it test folder, it will appear on our OneDrive because it's by default synchronized. Test folder. Let's suppose we don't want to synchronize one of our folder because we don't want to have a copy of these files locally on our hard drive. We want to only files in our OneDrive account because, for example, we have a pictures and we have hundreds of pictures in our OneDrive account. We don't want to have all these pictures copy of all this picture in our local mission because it takes place. We need to have a more empty space on our hard drive. So what we do, we stop synchronize this particular folder in uh, this example pictures. So we right click on the folder picture, choose OneDrive folders to sync and then unmark pictures to stop synchronize OneDrive files to our PC. Then click OK. Folder pictures disappear from our computer, but it's still 
in our OneDrive account. So we can have access from any device by using our Microsoft OneDrive account. If we change our mind, even if you want to back these pictures on uh, our machine, we need to do the same steps. Right click on the folders, choose OneDrive folder to sync and select the pictures. Hit OK. And after a while, it depends how many pictures we have, how big this folder is, because now OneDrive is sending all these pictures to our local machine, so it could take a while. So after a few seconds, all these pictures again appear in our local machine. Let's open pictures. Yes, here they are. I hope it was an easy explanation of how sync or synchronization in OneDrive works. Watch my another videos about OneDrive. Please leave the comment. Uh, visit my website itsb.com and thank you for watching.